Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we got these two pressure washers. You have seen them both in previous videos. Uh, that one over there, when we got it running, the pump was no good. This one here, the pump's fine, everything's fine, it runs fine, but it's got an oil leak. So he likes that frame better. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pump off of this one put on that one and I think it's got a better looking top so I think we're going to take the, the recoil cover off and put on that one make it look a little nicer I like this frame better but uh, you know it's got a spot for your nozzles and stuff that one does not because originally at one time it had a five in one nozzle uh, so but that's one he likes because he likes the bigger tires which they are handy for pulling around in a yard they're better than those tires so what we're going to do we're going to get some tools out we're going to take this pump off of here put it on that one so stick around guys okay guys so on this one this has a 13 millimeter nut on top and a 6 millimeter allen down here at the bottom and the other one's a 12 and 13 bolt so but this I'm gonna go ahead and take this off but I don't want it laying like that so what we're gonna do is let me see I'm gonna move this one and I'm gonna turn this one this way and flip it up Just like that. That way maybe you guys can get a view of what's going on. You zoom in a little bit. There. So. There's one. Pull this this is for your soap this hose here is for your soap dispenser he's not going to be using it I can't find my adapter to go from the, from this down to my impact driver so I got three sizes. I got half inch, uh, three eighths, and quarter inch. I can't find any of them. I keep them in the same drawer every time, so I don't know what's going on there. Now, this one, see, this also holds the motor, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to start, I'm going to loosen it right now. Then I'm gonna flip it up like this so the motor don't come crashing down off of it. And there's our pump. It's that simple, that easy. For pump right there this is the good pump this is a uh, 3,000 psi the other one is um, 3100 he swears he can tell a difference I can't on 100 psi I can't tell a difference um, okay so I'm gonna set this one down and I'm gonna bring the other one up here and we're gonna do the same thing only this time we're just going to use two wrenches. All right, now. We'll start the bottom one. And I'll do that top one just like I did the other one.
I've got ratcheting wrenches, but I don't think I have any metric. I might, I have, that's not true. I do have a couple metric ratchet, ratcheting wrenches, but I think they're 10 millimeter. I guess I could have used a ratchet on it. <laughs> these have um, these have lock nylocks. We call them. It's a lock wash or a lock nut. That's what it is. So, all right. So I'm going to get the other one out and get this one loosened. I'll bring you back when this one drops down out. Okay, we got that bolt out. Now this should drop down. And sometimes they don't. Okay, so let's see. All right, we got lucky on that other one. So what I'm going to have to do I'm going to have to try to get this I don't care if it breaks, but I don't want to break it. So, let me get something and tap on that. I don't have a brass hammer. And I need one. get it to pop off of there. Alright, I'm going to keep messing with this. Until it pops off. There's the problem why that one wasn't pumping. Right there. And someone's tried to take this off before because there's two broken bolts there's one there and one there two broken bolts on that thing so someone's tried to take this off before broke them two bolts and gave up on it and there should be a o-ring around this one here there it is so that was a couple seals. This could be rebuilt. I could get them bolts out of there probably. All right, so I took the pump apart. And I hope maybe there would be some way I could get in there with a puller. Pull this off, but I'm not seeing a way. So I don't want to heat that because there's a seal on the bottom of the motor that will burn up if I do that. So... I really don't want to do that so all right so I gotta figure out a way to get this off here what I may have to end up doing is just cutting this housing and then you know so I could knock knock this off um, hate to do that because that pump can be rebuilt but right now it's no good either so um, I think I think that's what I may have to do just bust the housing off around it so I can get on here and beat that 
but hate doing things that way. But I'm gonna keep messing with it and see what I can come up with. All right, a couple hours later, I got it off. If I had a slide hammer, it would have been a lot easier. But I bolted this rod onto the bottom of it. Just started beating the hell out of it on both sides. That's part of an old slide hammer, that rod. I think it would have went <laughs> a lot better. So let me take a break, move this stuff out of the way. I can see inside. Let's take this out real quick. I think it finally ended up cracking. Hope it didn't bend the shaft, the engine. So I think it ended up cracking this. This, uh, yeah, see, it finally cracked it right there. Huh. Hate to do that stuff, but you know, when it's stuck like that, what are you going to do? It's no good anyway, so, all right, guys, let me clear this off and we'll see if the other one will fit on. So, as you can see, I got, I just went ahead and pulled the engine off because, well, all the bolts were out. Let's lift it off. I'm going to take this this key out of here and um, I'm gonna clean this off real good I don't have any anises but I do have some grease that'll that'll help every little bit helps we'll put around here and then we'll put the new pump on it once we get the engine back up there okay guys I think you can see that I've got that cleaned off there pretty good and I'm gonna go ahead and just light coat of grease on there That should keep it from seizing on there. Like I said, anises is the best stuff to use, but you know I don't have any, so I'm just going to use grease. It will be fine. Let's make sure this goes up in there. Yeah. All right, now let's get this up here onto the base. I forgot to put that away. Okay. Now let me see if I can get you at a different angle. And we'll continue. Sorry guys. I realize you can't see much, but let's see here. This goes out the back. Clean that so good now the key don't want to stay in. Um, that board guy had the grease on it. What the heck? Wipe some grease on one of these boards and it's gone. Put a little bit of grease on there, that should, that should make it stay until we get everything up in there. We'll see. Maybe I can try to put it in this. No, it's not, not one to stay in that either. Now once we shove this up in there, it should, should line itself up. Make sure the key's in. Yep, the key's in there. That right, should be. Uh, okay, so the problem here is where these come out at. I may have to turn that motor. If he's not going to use the tank, that would probably work there, I think. One there, one there, and one there. Okay. Well, alright, let me figure. I may just 
he's not going to use this tank. This tank's got the nipple busted off of it anyway. So I think that might be the way I'll go. Because I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to turn that engine around. So, let's grab a couple bolts here. Built my pop earlier. There's one. Let's just get one in here to hold it. I, I know my glasses. I lost my glasses yesterday. <laughs> and I think they fell off the golf cart. This is a pair of monkey, a spare pair of monkey had the brand new, but they look all right on her, but they don't look good on me, but it's all I got, so at least I can see to do something. All right, now, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll pull that front tank off. Because, yeah, now that I look at it, it went out the front of the other mower. Or mower? Uh, pressure washer. And he said he's probably never going to use that tank, so this is the way it's got to be. So this is the way we're going to do it. Both of these engines run really well. Where's the third one at? You guys was looking at it all along, weren't you? <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up. And this is pretty much, I mean, it would be done, but I'm gonna switch a couple things over. That plastic top looks better on the other one. He, He'd like to have it put on here, which I was going to do that for him anyway. And then we can hook it up the water and start it, but he didn't bring the wand. He said, man, I forgot the wand. I was like, it's all right. We can still start it up and check it. Which it worked fine on the other one. It just had an oil leak. I think I know where it's coming from. Yeah, so yeah, this is a done deal, man. But if you have that problem, if you can, go rent you a slide hammer. I know they have um, what they call was, uh, tool owners at like Advance and uh, AutoZone. What you do is you buy the tool, it's used, you buy the tool, and when you take it back, you get your money back, even with tax. That's just so you don't you know run off with their tool if you do well then you bought it a lot of people don't like that i don't mind that because you can't just walk in and like borrow a 200 dollar code scanner and say i promise i'll bring it back no <laughs> no i wouldn't trust somebody either total stranger no i wouldn't i wouldn't trust them either so but get you a slide hammer and that's That'd be the way to go on this. All right. Now, now I can take my break. Move some of the stuff out of the way. We're gonna take this top off of here and take one off the other side, off the other one, and put on here. Then we'll just kind of wipe it down. Oh, we gotta get this off of here, don't we? Let's see. Yeah, that figures, don't it? <coughs> That's Torx there anyway. So, yeah, this is just going to have to come off. There's no other way. There's no other way around it. Because, see, on the other one, I could have turned the engine around. This I can't because of the slip on the back of this plate. So... 
but the other one don't have that so I could have just but he wanted this frame so he's going to get this frame but I am going to take this off of here because I have to yeah there's no well I couldn't spin that engine around anyway because there's a certain way see these ghosts there's a certain certain way them holes are drilled so all right guys hang on a second i'll be back with you okay guys so i had this off of the other one remember we had to check the uh the shear pin the shear key flywheel key we checked it it wasn't that remember it turned out to be uh i think it was the exhaust rock arm this comes off Now, the whole fuel tank and everything will come off. Okay, I need a pair of needle nose. Get this clamp off of here. go now set this over here so it doesn't spill out everywhere now I'm gonna take the other one off it's the same as doing this one just gonna take them three bolts off and then I'll bring you back when we put this back on okay I drained the fuel out of this one let's go ahead and put this on here hook our line up I gotta put the clamp back on it right. okay I gotta get the other two Just popping these out. Oh man, there's one. There's the other one. Yeah, they just pop up in through them little holes there. This one. Now we're going to put them down on the studs. Just like that. There we go. Now we're going to get his pull rope. Pull start. Either way, it's going to be it's going to be crooked because of the way the engine is. But you know, it is what it is. I think. I think we want to put it like this because all the controls are on that side. Now, put these back on. I know you're overexposed over here a little bit, but 
I'm in the shade. It's it's hot again today, man. It rained earlier when I was doing stuff off camera. That's all there is to that. Okay, there's, there's that. I'll put the other one back on the other engine. The engine's fine, it's just got an oil leak, so. Then we're gonna take this off. I think it's an 11, but it's also got them, here let me get you down here, move you guys over here a little bit closer, then I can see what's going on with the camera. Yeah, so, yeah, these are Torex here, and I think these are 11. Let me grab an 11 real quick. Okay, it is an 11. And I see it's spinning. So, uh, shoot, let me grab a Torx. All right, so here we go. Ain't no biggie. just you know fabrication man that's what you run into guys when you you know when you uh when you get changing motors and pumps and stuff like that it just it is what it is man there's always going to be it's the same exact motor but two different pumps and two different frames so that's what you run into and not a big deal for him. He's not going to use this tank anyway. Alright, there's two of them out. So, uh, now let's turn this around here. I still like the other frame, but it's his. <laughs> Whatever he wants. Yeah, that, that pump was a pain to get out of there. I thought I was just gonna have to start cutting on it. Hate doing it that way. But that's what it is, you know. All right, we'll clean this up. We could probably drill holes. If he wants it up there later, the only problem with that is, well, you could get to the spark plug, all right. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna clean this off. I'm gonna drill a couple holes through here. The bottom ones aren't going to line up because it kind of comes at an angle. See, they line up down there, but not up here. That would have even been good right there. But this has a nipple broken off of it right there. So I don't think he's ever going to use this tank. But I think what I might do, might go ahead and put that on there for him because it looks cool. He's still got room to get his hoses in there, so yeah, that's what we'll do. I'm gonna get a center punch and we'll go to drill. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll put that up here. Let's 
because I think uh, we've got to put a bolt down in there. I don't think, yeah, see, it's not going to line up right there. But I can still put the two bolts in here. I can still put that guard on there. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drill a couple holes. That way it looks a little better. Cause I know you don't want that down there. I wouldn't want it down there. You know, so we do it like this. Then he can just reach in, put his hoses on there and his wand. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let me grab my center punch. That would work upside down. I could go into these two holes here. I'd have to remove this sticker because it's upside down. If he's anything like me, that would that would really, really bother him. I could take that sticker off though. Then all I'd have to do is Yeah, let's go ahead and I don't know what you guys are seeing here. Hang on. Whoa. You alright? You guys fall backwards. Okay. But then I can't put holes in there. But I won't I wouldn't have to then. I wish I had a Shea Bear 1000 sticker to put on there. <laughs> we put the Shea Bear 1000 sticker on for him. He was teasing me. He's like, well, I better go so you can go in and get your get your crew, your, your camera crew and your sound crew. And I'm like, dude, buddy, I'm it. <laughs> I'm it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just take that sticker off of there. Wish I had a Chevy emblem I would put on there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's do this. Whoa. You guys all right? Man, I keep knocking you around today, huh? Yeah, that'll be all right. All right, guys. So as you saw, it's working fine. Everything's good. I'm just gonna just put my tools away now. Got a couple things to put away, and then I'm done for the day. So, um, yeah, that one he left for me. To see if I can do something with it. Find out that leak. I think I know where it's coming from, but I'm not positive. So, it's a slow leak, but if it sets for a while, and it only leaks down so far and then it stops I mean it'll still have oil in it but it'll be reading low on the stick so I'm gonna try to figure that out and uh, at least he'll you know have a good extra engine if he needs it so but yeah he left it here let's see how much one of these pumps are maybe I can get a pump and get it going but by the time I buy the pump and the, and, and the wand and the hose for the wand, that high pressure hose, you know, I mean, that stuff's expensive, man. So, I'll see if I can get that leak fixed and then he can have a good engine. So, all right, guys, well, that's going to be it for today. It's going to rain, so I'm going to put this back on. That other motor, it's a, it's a good motor, it runs great. It's got, a, it's got a, a leak, you know, you'll see it leak, you'll see it drip every so often. So, but anyway, yeah, we'll see if we can get that fixed for him. He can have an extra good, a good extra engine. Um, good cart, you know, in case he ever wants to take the pump off of the other one. If his engine blows up or something, put it on that. So the engine's fine. It runs good. Just got a leak. So, all right, guys. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend. Hope everyone has a good weekend. Stay safe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye and take care.